So hi and welcome to this video. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be learning about CGI programming in Python. So uh, what CGI is, is it's basically sort of um, a really old version of, uh, it's kind of what was around before PHP. So before with before PHP uh, you couldn't just uh, put sort of script, uh, code in a file. Uh, for example, uh, a good example is to let me show you. So as you can see here is hico.org and this is a PHP file and I include all of the PHP code in this exact file along with all the HTML. But you didn't used to be able to do that. Um, so what people used was something called CGI. Uh, and this is the uh, CGI folder. Uh, on um, Not every web host provides this but a lot of them do. Uh, on a, uh, and how code uh, does ha uh, have it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a Python file and I'm going to show you how to execute it on your server uh, using CGI. So if we go to FileZilla over here, uh, ignore the HT access file, that's just um, because without it, uh, the way I configured my other HT access, it didn't uh, work. Um, so just ignore the HT access file, that's not actually ne necessary. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new file and we're going to call it python.py. So then what we're going to do is uh, we actually have to give it the correct permissions first. So we're going to go down to file permissions uh, and we're going to set the permissions to 755 uh, and then we're going to click OK. So now what we're going to do is we're going to right click again and we're going to click view slash edit and this is going to uh, download the file and let us edit it. So uh, the first thing we need to do uh, to make it work is to include a header at the top of the file because as you can see if we go to uh, python.py we get an error and actually before the header we need to include the location of the python interpreter so what we're going to type is a uh, hashtag uh, exclamation mark slash usr slash bin so slash user slash bin slash python and the python has no extension at the end of it then what we're going to do is we're going to say print and we need to print the header and uh, you'll notice uh, I'm not using Python 3 that's just because this server uh, doesn't support Python 3 so uh, yours might if it does just you know use the Python 3 syntax but if it doesn't like mine just use the Python 2 syntax so what we're going to type is uh, content dash type uh, colon space uh, we'll actually get rid of the space text slash html then what you want to do is you want to put a new line in. The new line is important because without the new line it won't actually work. It'll just uh, give us this internal server error again. Whoops, I need to put the... Uh, oh no, it's okay. I thought I put the slash in the wrong place. So, uh, now we've done that, we can uh, go to FileZilla and we can click Yes and this will upload our file. So now if we go back to the browser and we click Refresh, as you can see we get a blank page, but that's only because we haven't told our Python script to do anything. So to do something, we're just going to say print hello world. We'll hit uh, yes to upload that and we'll click refresh. And as you can see, now it says hello world on the page. So we can do this to output any type of HTML that we want. So let's say uh, we could even do server side things as well. But for simplicity, I'm just going to uh, output some HTML. So I'm going to say uh, tile. I code Python script or something, I don't know. Uh, and then underneath here, we're going to put in this is a Python script. And then we're just going to do something simple like while uh, one equals one, let's say a while uh, i is less than 10, then we're going to say print. Uh, let's say, I don't know, something. And we'll go up here and we'll just say i equals zero. Whoops. And then this is just a simple uh, loop that we're doing just to uh, show you how it works. Then what we're going to say is uh, i equals i plus one. So this will just, uh, this is a simple script we can run on our uh, web server now. So let's just refresh the page. And as you can see, it says this is a Python script, something, 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 whatever. And there we have a uh, high code Python script up here. So let's just put in a new line to make that easier to see. And we'll also output i beside it. So we'll say, I'll get rid of that. And we'll say 
plus i to append it, and then we'll append the new line on the end of it. So let's refresh. Whoops. Um, okay, so let's just go back uh, and say. To make things simple, I'll just say print um, i. Um, we'll put a space there, and then I'll say print new line. So, uh, okay, oh, okay, the reason the new line isn't working is because um, we're, we have to use a HTML new line, so let's just put in that break tag. And as you can see, now our script is executed, and uh, we uh, can do dynamic things with Python on our web page uh, that we couldn't do before. Uh, but if we were to put python.py in the main uh, highcode.org folder, uh, I'll actually do that just uh, as a demonstration. So if we were to uh, just go back to here and refresh the page, as you can see, it, it um, returns our actual file because the file doesn't get run uh, unless it's in the CGI bin. So just make sure that you put it in the CGI folder uh, or your file uh, won't run. So uh, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.